Okay. I'm going to be construct a right isosceles triangle whose hypotenuse length is given. This is the length I'll be using. We're going to be calling this point A and this point B. All right. Now we're going to try to find the midpoint first. Okay. We're going to use this handy compass that I created. Point here. First we're going to start with Okay, now, these points I've found from here to here are equal distance apart from A and B. Okay? Now we're going to use these points to create a line. Create a line here. That all the points are equal distance apart from. Any point on this line will be equal distance from A and B. Okay? So now, this is the midpoint, we'll call M. Okay. Now I'm going to create a circle. Have my red pen, create some kind of distinction. From midpoint, from mid M to B as its radius. So, create this point here. There we go. Okay. So, Knowing that any point on this line is equal distance from A and B, we know that this point right here is equal distance from A and B. So now these sides are equal. We've created an isosceles triangle. Now we have to show that it's a right isosceles triangle. We know that this right here, this well, straight line is 180 degrees, so this length inside should be 90. Correct? Now, another way of showing this would be to complete the circle here by these lines that are equal distance, showing the point here. Now, now that they're equal distance apart, we have a rhombus. Or now we want to create, we want to show that it's a square. So this point right here, let's call it um, y, and this point over here, let's call it x, are equal distance from a to b. So now that the distance from here to here, from y to x, is equal as a to b, we've created a square. Now that it's shown that a square, all squares have 90 degree angles in all corners. And that's it. I've created a right isosceles triangle whose hypotenuse is the length given. And that's it.